Ein herzliches Grüß Gott nach Graz and to everywhere, dear young innovators. Thank you for the invitation to address your festival. Und vielen Dank, Herr Bundespräsident, lieber Alexander van der Bellen, für Ihre herzliche Einführung. I know 2020 was particularly challenging for young people. It will be remembered as the year of lockdowns and confinements. It was a very difficult year for startups and entrepreneurs, but there lies a chance in every crisis. And 2020 has also showcased the power of digital technology to learn, to work, to keep in touch. We would have met today in the city of Graz. This is not possible. But instead of canceling the whole event, you now will present projects and discuss on screen. The pandemic has demonstrated the potential of digital innovation to improve our health and well-being. One example, we are currently purchasing 200 disinfection robots. They can support hospital staff working day after day on the coronavirus frontline. And better health and well-being is just one of the 17 UN Sustainable Development Goals that you, young innovators, seek to address. Let me tell you, the European Union is a great place to start up and grow. Successful European Young Innovators alumni are proof of that. I think of Be My Eyes, the Danish app. It connects blind people with volunteers who help them via video call. Or think of Ecosia, the German search engine that spends most of its revenues on planting trees and many more fascinating ideas. I was truly impressed by the 16 leading projects of this year's edition, from culture to green energy, from health to inclusion, but also from youth to education. Each of them shows how digital innovation can help solve the problems of our times. And this is why I'm glad the Commission could support this festival and other events you are organizing with our Europe for Citizens program. And Europe is doing more to help turn ideas into innovation. We have set up a European Innovation Council. Around 10 billion euros will be available during the next years to fund small and medium-sized enterprises with high risk but high potential. We will support innovation projects from several European countries. And we will offer coaching, matchmaking, and help to set up a company. And Europe is fighting the economic impact of the crisis on all fronts. We organized a big hashtag EU versus virus hackathon to support the recovery. 117 innovative solutions were selected as winners. And we just invited startups to a digital innovation challenge to create new services based on open solutions provided by the Commission. These are just a few examples. The European Union is putting in place an entire ecosystem to give entrepreneurs every opportunity to become world-leading companies. In Europe, we want to be the global leader of a digital transformation that benefits society. This means setting our own rules and standards consistent with our values. One area where this is particularly important is artificial intelligence. AI can help us address many of the sustainable development goals. Take affordable medicine or better education. Take sustainable agriculture or cleaner transport. At the same time, AI raises important ethical questions. We want European standards and values to be applied in AI, used in Europe. In particular, when complex AI solutions are deployed in sensitive areas, like, for example, healthcare, or public services, or employment. 
And let me give you another example. The pandemic has shown the enormous potential of digital services, but we also saw the challenges. Many users fell victims to online scams. Disinformation is widespread. And businesses are increasingly dependent on platforms to reach customers. So we have to ensure a safe digital space where the rights of Europeans are protected and where businesses can innovate, grow and compete on fair terms. No matter where, whether it is an app store, social media or an online marketplace. And this is why we need to upgrade our e-commerce rules, which date actually from a time when most of you entered primary school. Don't get me wrong. We will make sure not to stifle innovation and not to put at risk the benefits that platforms have brought. Some platforms are vital public spaces for free expression. Platforms enable smaller companies to reach customers more easily. But we want that startups can compete fairly without adding unnecessary burden. We're aiming for a more sustainable, more digital, more prosperous economy and society. The transition we tr strive to achieve needs everybody. And this is why initiatives like the Young Innovators are vital. You are the ones who connect, cooperate, and who create bonds across Europe and beyond. We need your ideas to drive innovation in which people can trust, to ensure our digital leadership and to shape Europe's future, your future. I wish you, all young innovators, a very successful festival. Thank you.